आज का जो हमारा टॉपिक है वो है इक्वेशन ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी इन स्पेरिकल पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट्स इक्वेशन ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी इन स्पेरिकल पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट्स लेट there be a fluid particle at p maan lete hain p point pe ek fluid particle hai jiske coordinate yani ki spherical coordinate and its spherical coordinates are r theta and phi r theta phi us particle ke us point par spherical coordinates hai theek hai and ये जो r है ये ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो होगा थीटा लाई करेगा जीरो टू पाई एंड फाइव लाई करेगा जीरो टू टू पाई एंड लेट रो बी देंसिटी ऑफ दैट फ्लूट पार्टिकल मान लेते हैं रो उस फ्लूट पार्टिकल की डेंसिटी है जो कि फंक्शन है रो इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ r थीटा फाइव एंड ऑल्सो let us draw the parallel pipe to understand this concept this is r this is theta this is phi this is del r and here is the point p where the fluid particle is and this distance will be r d theta and this will be r sin theta d phi and velocity along direction r will be q r along axis phi will be q phi along axis theta will be q theta this is p q r s s dash p dash r dash and q dash now the mass per unit time of the fluid that passes through pqrs pqrs is given by density into volume that is density into volume and per unit time that is 1 here density is rho volume is area of cross section of this part that is r d theta into r sin d phi and velocity with which the fluid particle is moving that is qr suppose that this is equal to a function r theta phi and this will be the first equation now the mass that comes out from the face p dash q dash r dash and s dash p dash q dash r dash and s dash will be equal to f of r plus del r here del r is the distance that is increase in the distance in along r direction comma theta comma phi simply this can be expanded with the help of taylor series this can be done as f r theta phi plus del r d by del r f r theta and phi suppose this is the second equation now excess of mass that retains inside excess of mass that retains inside will be given by separating this equation from this we have f r theta phi minus this one f r theta phi minus del r del r f r theta phi then this will be cancel out and we get rewriting this minus del r del by del r of f r theta phi and this was equal to this 
for the first equation so we get minus del r over del r not f here rho into r d theta into r sine theta here is theta into d phi into the velocity component so now here we see that these are constant except this 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 and this one so these can be taken out we get minus del r d theta actually this is del theta del phi and sine theta and del by del r of r rho here r into r r square into the velocity component so let us suppose that this is equation number equation third now excess of mass proteins inside when fluid passes in from pp dash q dash q and comes out from s s dash r dash r here pp dash q dash q now the fluid particle now the mass is comes in from this cross section area and comes out from s s dash r dash r simply following this minus del r can be replaced by r del theta del by del theta now we are discussing about or along theta axis so this is not del theta r del theta rho that is density into the area of cross section which is r sine theta d phi into del r into q r that is the velocity not q r q theta which is the velocity component now this is a function of theta this is also function of theta this is also function of theta but these can be taken out so we get minus r square del theta del phi del r and del by r del theta rho into sine theta q theta and this will be cancelled out by this so this is the fourth equation now similarly net mass that retains inside when fluid passes in from s s dash p dash p and comes out from r r dash q dash q now the mass passes in from this surface that is s s dash p dash p and comes out from this surface r r dash q dash q this will be equal to minus simply following this here del r will be replaced by r sine theta d phi into del by r sine theta d phi into rho that is the density into area of cross section that is length into breadth that is del r into r del theta into the velocity which is acting vertically upward that is q phi q phi here this is not a function of phi this is also so these two can be taken out we get and this will be cancelled out by this we get d phi d r d theta and also r 
into del by del phi of rho into q phi this is the fifth equation now the total mass that retains inside will be given by adding third fourth fifth we get minus del r del theta del phi common from all the three equations and inside we get del by del r rho into r square sin theta into q r not sin theta sin theta is already constant so we can write here sin theta rho r square into q r plus del by del theta into rho sin theta okay sin theta q theta plus r del by del phi rho into q phi now it is all right so this is the equation number six now again total mass total mass of the fellow pipe that we have considered so it is given by rho into volume that is del r into r del theta into r sin theta into d phi del r into r del theta into r sin theta into d phi so this can be right into in terms of r square rho into r square del r del theta del phi into sin theta now rate of increase of mass is given by rate of increase of mass here only the rho is the component rho is the only component of t so r square del r del theta del phi sine theta del by del t of rho this is rate of change of mass suppose this is equation number seven since there is neither sources nor sinks so according to the law of conservation of mass the rate of increase of mass will be equal to the total mass that retain inside the parallel pipe or we can say simply if we see that this is also a rate of change of mass so these two equation can be equate each other we get equating six and seven so this term will be cancelled out by this and simply we get here r square sine theta d rho by dt is equal to minus sine theta d by d r rho into r square q r plus del by del theta rho into sine theta q theta plus r del by del phi q q phi dividing both sides by r square sin theta so we get so this will be eliminated from here we get simply d rho by dt plus 1 upon r square del by del r of rho into r square q r plus del by del theta 1 upon r sin theta rho into q theta plus 1 upon r sin square theta del by del phi of mm, rho q phi will be equal to zero which is desired equation of continuity and spherical coordinates thanks for watching